So, what kind of backup should you create? Now, the majority of backups are going to affect some sort of database, whether it's a true database product or if it is a collection of data files. You're probably going to backup data that has changed since some point in time. You can do a full backup, which is effectively just dumping all data files that you consider to be important out to some device. You can dump the data straight out to a tape device. You could dump it to another disk and then back it up as a single archive file. Or you could do a system-to-system -system backup so that you're actually sending these backup images across the network to some other system. A full backup requires a lot of media and it may take longer to back up than you really need to invest, especially if you're a 24 by 7 shop and you want to make sure that your database is always up and available, you may have to back off of doing a full backup and do something more along the lines of an incremental backup. From an operating system standpoint, an incremental backup is a backup of all the files whose time date stamp has changed since the last time you did a backup. Now, if you look at a very large database, a large database is made up of a collection of operating system files. It can be multiple gigabytes in size. You don't want to use an operating system backup utility to back up a database because when the database opens for multi-user access, it actually changes the date timestamp on all of those files. So the operating system would think the whole database has changed. That's why most database product manufacturers will also provide you with the ability to do an incremental block backup. What they'll do basically is they'll go through their database product and they will only back up the blocks that have been touched since the last backup. Now incremental backups may reduce the amount of time you spend backing up data on a daily basis, but the problem with it is it may dramatically increase your time to restore. Anytime you need to recover one of these backups, what you'll have to do is restore the last full backup and then you'll have to restore each incremental tape that was been taken until you build the database back up to yesterday's backup or last night's backup, then you may have to roll any transaction activity forward back into the database. That's not so bad if you only have one database to restore, but what if you have half a dozen? It could dramatically increase your recovery time and may even put you beyond the maximum allowable downtime.